in this video, I'm going to be sharing something extremely valuable with all of you. Me and my team at Instantly have put together this resource that's going to equip even a complete beginner with all the tools necessary to start getting clients using cold email. So this cold email starter kit includes everything from email templates, follow-up sequences, shows you how to get leads, set up campaigns, and much more. All you need to do is take the steps on your end and before you know it, you'll be getting responses and landing new clients. So like the video, make sure you watch all the way through. I'll be sharing a valuable piece of information that I think will help all of you. Let's get into it. Now, in order to start getting clients from your cold email, you need to know how to do a few things. Number one is how to write the emails. Number two is how to send the emails. And the number three is who to send these emails to. So the good news, we set this email kit up in a way that walks you through this whole process. Uh, so let's get over it uh, here and, and let me show you how easy this is. So the first step, you're going to need a cold email automation tool we use instantly. It's our tool, it works really well. And you're gonna have to connect email accounts. So these email accounts are gonna be the accounts with which you reach out to your leads. So this is uh, very straightforward. Just go set up an instantly account and then click here, add new. You can connect the Gmail, Office, uh, 365, Outlook, Zoho, I, and really any provider for IMAP SMTP. So right, you, first of all, you have to connect your cold email accounts, your outreach inboxes, you connect them to instantly. That's the very, first step. Now, when we have this set up and we have a couple outreach accounts connected here, the next step is going to be to, uh, you know, get, get leads. So we want to get leads and leads is essentially data, right? The data, the email addresses, the contact information of your target market of your potential clients. So for this, I can recommend two tools. Lead hype is a good one and Apollo is a good one here as well. So let's assume, you know, just for the sake of an example, you're a marketing agency and you want to get more clients. Let's say for this particular campaign, you're going to target fashion brands or fashion companies. Um, to do that, right, you want to get the data of decision makers at fashion companies, uh, fashion related companies. So for that, we go here uh, to lead hype. And then you can click here on Sales Navigator and Sales Navigator, right, is the database of LinkedIn. Uh, here you will see everybody is uh, in certain markets with certain attributes and you can just filter by these attributes uh, to find your target audience, right, or the potential clients. So let's say you're a marketing agency that's targeting fashion, uh, fashion companies. So let me just go here and let me look for these people. So first thing, you know, I'll do industry. I'll just type in here, they have to be in the fashion industry. So let's say retail apparel and fashion. Then let's say, you know, for this particular campaign, I only want to target the United States, or maybe we can even go more granular, more detailed, and we can say, okay, I only want to target Los Angeles, right? Because there's a lot of people in the fashion industry inside of the US. So we don't want this lead list to be too, uh, too big. Uh, so we don't have to create a, a lead list of like four, five, six thousand people. You know, we want to set up a campaign of, let's say at the beginning, we reach out to 500 or a thousand people. So let's do that now. Uh, I'm targeting retail, retail apparel, fashion, uh, geography. Let's say we only want to target people in Los Angeles. And then I want to make sure I'm targeting the decision makers here. So let me see a job title. It's probably going to be like the CEO and, and, uh, yeah, so you can see, okay, we are kind of narrowing down the search to decision makers, CEOs, right. In the fashion industry, uh, in Los Angeles, right. So you can just apply these filters. Think about who is your target audience? Who do you want to uh, reach out to and then apply these filters. And then we're going to click here, click this button, copy URL. So all this this filters that we applied, it's going to be inside a search string inside of the URL. And you can just go to the dashboard and go back here. And then so we click here, sales navigator, and then uh, fashion uh, companies uh, in LA at CEO, right? And then I'm pasting in this URL and I click launch. 
And then it will start scraping and getting all the data and finding the email addresses of the people that we just found. Another lead source that you can use, Apollo, is a good one. So let's go for the same exercise here again. Uh, I'm going to look for fashion brands, decision makers. Um, so let's say, again, I'm looking for a CEO here. I want to make sure I target um, fashion, apparel and fashion. All right, CEO, apparel and fashion location. You know, it, uh, um, just for the sake of this example, and right, you can also target only fashion brands in Europe. Uh, let's say we only have Europe. Um, or fashion brands in the European Union, right? The good thing about cold email is, is it's global. You can target anybody anywhere and um, you can reach out to them directly and pitch them your offer, All right? So this is what it will look like, right? But think about for your service, what kind of filters would you apply here? And then once you have that, you know, just uh, select, uh, select these leads and then export that. We also have like, in terms of the leads, I don't want to go into too much detail right now. It's fairly straightforward. You know, just select uh, all of these people that you found and then export it as a CSV file. Uh, so, right, when we from lead hype, we're going to export the data we found, or from Apollo, we are going to export the data we found as a CSV file. And then, before uh, one important step, before we reach out to these people, we're going to make sure we verify uh, the leads. Right. We're going to be cold emailing these people. So we want to make sure the email addresses that we grab from these two databases, that they're accurate and it's good data. So for that, we can use Million Verifier. There's other, to other tools out there like Bulk Email Checker and that works well. Just go here and then you're going to click Select File. And you're going to add a lead. So I have a lead, uh, lead file prepared already, you know, just for this video to show you how that would look like. And then, you know, uh, I'm going to verify the file and click start verifying. Then it will start verifying, tell me, hey, it will tell me exactly which uh, email addresses are good and which ones aren't. Okay, great. So let's go back here. We have, uh, let's review very quickly what we have. We have the, we have connected email accounts, outreach accounts. We have, um, we have the data now of our target audience, right? You have the contact information now step after that is really setting up a campaign. So let's go here. We go again in inst and instantly just go to the campaign tab and let's set up a campaign together. So I'm going to click here new. Um, let's say, you know, let's think about the targeting that we used earlier. Uh, we said fashion brands, uh, LA CEO, right? Just so you know who you're targeting here. And still like this for this example, right? I'm assuming I'm a I'm a marketing agency here looking for more clients. So first step in this campaign is we're going to click import. Uh, I already have a lead list ready. So I'm just going to import this lead list, right? The email addresses of all the people, the first name, last name, the company name. Um, and then I'm just going to click here, uh, upload all. We have Pac-Man processing here. And we're going to upload the data that we found of the people, right? We want as customers. Now here, it's pretty cool and instantly, right? Obviously here, you're looking at the blank screen, like a, a blank document. What should you say here? Like sometimes it's difficult to come up with some copy or like with a good pitch or a good cold email. Um, it's not necessarily easy, but always to keep in mind, keep it simple. And then as an additional help, we have a bunch of templates here for different niches. So let's say you have a lead generation agency. We have a lot of templates here. Let's do video production, marketing and advertising, uh, coaching, follow-ups, TikTok agency, content marketing agency, and so on and so forth. We have a lot of templates here, you know, just to get to, uh, to give you a little bit of a foundation, a framework uh, to go off, uh, off of, and uh, you can use those. Uh, you know, just some inspiration. So let's use one of those templates. How would I do it here if I was a marketing agency targeting uh, fashion companies? So I'm going to just going to use this template here and let's look at it. Hey, first name, just looking at your site. And then here we have placeholders, right? So uh, think about your target audience, right? Here you can just insert your target audience. What's your target industry? Right in our example that we're doing here, 
for contact, it's the same tactics we have been using for our other fashion clients, right? In this case, we want to say, hey, we work with all the fashion companies already. We know what we're doing. Um, this is the same framework that we're using for our fashion clients. Inbound interest. And then obviously, right, you have to edit a little bit. Maybe this won't fit for your particular case, but you have to edit, maybe add, remove stuff. So it's uh, it makes sense for your offer. So let's read this. It's the same tactics we have been using for our other fashion clients in the US that have been increasing uh, inbound interest, doubling the number of leads. So maybe this is not necessarily increasing, uh, been increasing uh, revenue coming from social with what we call the modern fashion marketing stack, right? You want to put your own spin on it, on all of these templates. You want to put your own spin on it so it makes sense for you. Uh, make it relevant, make it targeted. Are we talking to fashion companies? We're going to tell them how we work with other fashion companies, how we're specialized working with fashion companies and getting fashion companies results. Then, uh, yeah, this would be the first email. That's solid. We can, uh, we can do that. And then we're going to add steps right to the sequence. This is a sequencer. This will be like reaching out automatically. If they don't respond to step one, we wait one day. And if they haven't responded after one day, uh, you know, the system recognizes that and it will automatically send a follow up to step two here. So we can just use uh, any follow ups we want to do here. We want to grab maybe we can say we can use this, right? And then maybe add another step. I like to put two, two days in between intervals just so they have a little bit more time to respond. Maybe they were about to respond, but if we follow up with them right away the next day, um, they could be a little bit annoying. But yeah, you see what works for you. So this one, I'm going to add another uh, template. Let's see what we can say here. Let's see if we find something good in a template stack. Let's use this one. Hey, first name uh, to increase revenue, but haven't heard back based on other. Right? And here, just insert your target audience based on other fashion companies in the uh, in the area. You know, maybe you don't have this state variable. It doesn't matter, right? The state variable would have had to be uploaded initially. Uh, when you uploaded the lead list, maybe you can also add the state and then you can dynamically insert this. But in this case, you know, just because we didn't really add any location data when we uploaded the leads, we'll just keep it like this. Uh, we have been helping uh, for over a decade. I truly believe it could be a great fit. So I had to follow up one more time. Is this of interest? Right? Call to action. Um, maybe as a little bonus here, what I sometimes um, like to add in a follow-up sequence is maybe just a, a funny, uh, funny, a funny GIF. So let's look for one. Um, uh, funny, funny, uh, GIF penguin going off uh, on a little tangent here. So let me, uh, I hope I can find it doing this here on the video. Uh, let me type this in cute penguin. All right, there we can use this, um, Uh, copy image address. We're going to copy the image address and then we're going to add it inside of Instantly. Uh, then I'm just going to say, hey, first name. Um, uh, I sent out this little penguin. Uh, maybe we can say, you know, because we, because I haven't uh, heard back, I sent out this little penguin uh, looking uh, for you and trying to pitch our marketing service for company company name, right? So we put a little bit humorous spin on it. Uh, and then we're gonna insert an image here. Let's see if this works. Great. Uh, uh, is this uh, of interest or should I tell the penguin to stop? looking okay so this is kind of of our little of our hail mary here just as a last step the fourth step in the sequence we're going to try to be a little bit funny get their attention and get a response out of them okay so we, we're saving the sequence and then uh, let's move on here to the next step which is the schedule um 
let me just save all the steps first. I want to make sure this is saved. And I click save. Okay, great. Then we go, we move on to the to the schedule, right? In this case, we targeted um, Los Angeles. So that's going to be on Pacific time. We want to make sure the time zone is accurate too. And it will send from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time. And the options, right? Remember, we connected uh, email accounts, outreach accounts in this first step to instantly, and then we're going to just pick a couple and these accounts will be sending to the lead list that we that we uploaded. We'll do inbox rotation. So inbox number one will send to lead number one. Inbox number two will send to lead number two. That way, uh, you know, you have really good deliverability and, it, and you can really scale your campaign as well. And then, boom, we just click launch and we're done. Okay, then we, we click launch here. I'm not going to do that because then it will start sending. It will start doing uh, outreach, but uh, just click here, the button launch. Also, like, keep in mind, you know, with the sequences, just put your own spin on it. Like, keep it simple. Just get to the point. Make it easy to read. And, um, yeah, and it'll be good to go. Other couple follow-up steps. Really have a lot of templates. Just, just look which templates you like. And then, you know, again, put your own spin on it. Edit, add, remove, whatever um, makes most sense for your particular offer, right? Right, this stuff is simple. Not necessarily easy though, right? Just follow our plan. We do have a instantly accelerator inside of instantly. It's eight, uh, eight modules. And it really goes into detail here again of what I've been talking about. Everything from the leads, you know, how to get these lead lists, the copywriting, the campaigns, how to optimize, and then even how to close deals, right? Once you have these replies coming in, how to close deals. And you can find this here inside of instantly. Um, and uh, really go into detail as well. Uh, but yeah, the most important thing here is, you know, is to be consistent. This is a skill that takes some time to learn, right? Um, just follow the, the game plan, follow the pr proven blueprint. And once you get the hang of it, uh, you can get more B2B clients uh, whenever you want. So you, you essentially be a rainmaker, right? For your B2B company, for your agency, for your high ticket uh, service, you can just spin up a campaign upload some leads and start sending, get some uh, positive replies back and then close them. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, use this cold email kit to start sending emails to clients and you'll be getting responses in no time. If you want to get the full benefits of this video, make sure you upgrade your instantly to save thousands of dollars in email setup costs and take your email game to the next level. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm out and I'll see you later.